Now, sometimes can I, am, am I going to cash flow at, a, at a, an ARV, you know, at a beautiful rent ready Pinterest worthy property? Am I going to cash flow if I go buy one of those? No, nope, I'm not. So what am I going to do? How am I going to cash flow and how am I going to get that appreciation? I'm going to buy in these B-class neighborhoods, but they're granny houses. They need some work. And I'm going to put my money in the property and I'm going to leave it alone. Yes, I'm going to buy the house that needs work. I'm going to put some rehab costs in there. And I'm not cash out refinancing because if I did, I wouldn't cash flow at my new mortgage payment. But what am I getting in return? Yeah, I'm putting an extra 15K into the property for a light cosmetic rehab. And I'm leaving it there. But that's peanuts. Look at inflation. $15,000 is nothing in the scheme of things. I'm going to hold this property forever. But what am I getting? I'm getting a Pinterest-worthy six-figure income earner, two college graduates with a dog that are going to start a family, that have high hopes for the world and for their life. And they're going to take care of my property. And they're going to tell me when things are wrong. And they're going to have nice furniture. And they're going to stay there. And they're going to play by their rules. And they're going to have good FICO scores. My gosh. Like, I want that. I want that tenant. I want a nice house in a good neighborhood where there's going to be low crime and it's going to appreciate. And one day those neighborhoods are going to be the good neighbors. They are not going to cash flow anymore. I won't have a chance. And I'll be like, properties in these areas, you can't cash flow there anymore. Yeah. I think there's so much wisdom in all of that. I think there's a couple of things when I break this down. 